Hello, pet lovers. Today, it's not only about some of your lovely pets. Here's something about the dangerous reptile that you might not want to mess with. Welcome back. Let's dive into the content without much delay. Our Earth is home to about 3,500 species of snakes, but barely 600 or so of them are venomous. Those snakes that are venomous can kill lives. Although, they're not only the most common causes of death, like automobile accidents and heart attacks. It is tricky to rank these organisms by their level of danger, if it's impossible. There are numerous ways to order them, by the potency of their venom, how likely they are to strike, how frequently humans encounter them, and even specialists can agree on a top 10 list. However, there are a few serpents that would make any list of dangerous reptiles. Here, we'll list the 10 serpents you don't want to mess with. Number 1. King Cobra When people think of harmful snakes, the King Cobra is often the one that comes first to your mind. It is not only deadly, but also the longest of the horrible snakes. It is venomous. It can grow up to 18 feet long, though that is extreme. If you appear across one of them, it's not likely to be more than 12 feet or so. Isn't that reassuring? Although the King Cobra is certainly a very difficult snake, it likes to escape unless it is elicited. Despite its aggressive reputation, the King Cobra is greatly more cautious than any minor snakes. The Cobra only attacks people when it is cornered in self-defense or to protect its eggs. These giant snakes mostly eat other snakes, which is a great redeeming feature for humans. Though normally not aggressive, they can be mean during the mating season, and you don't want to sneak up on one. When coerced, they do the classic cobra posture. They raise their body straight up, dispersing their hoods, and just hissing. And this is a warning for you if you want to live. Number two, black mamba. Black mamba, the black lining of the black mamba's mouth, inspired its name. Its skin color ranges from gray to light brown. It's like you don't think that the black mamba is not quite as long as the king cobra but it's faster than a cobra. It can zip along at more than 12 miles an hour and often uses these bursts of speed to hustle anyone unlucky or foolish enough to arouse it. Its toxin contains a powerful neurotoxin. Just a couple of drops can kill a human being. The black mamba is frequently described as nervous rather than contentious. The consequence is probably meaningless if you have disturbed one. You're dead. Number three. Boom Slang Boom Slang Despite the charming name, the Boom Slang submits a terrible bite. Its venom is a potent hemotoxin that causes widespread throughout your body and it causes severe hemorrhaging. It can kill someone who gets a bite quickly and more unpleasantly. Yet Boom Slangs are not as aggressive and rarely bother anything that is too big to eat. Because Boom Slang toxin is a powerful hemotoxin, it's not too surprising that it can lead to a major brain and muscle hemorrhage. But the venom also results in other symptoms like nausea, headaches, and sleepiness. Possibly, what is more surprising is that this venom can make the victim bleed from every reasonable orifice. Number four, saw-scaled viper. Mostly known as saw-scaled viper, this snake is small enough. They're usually fewer than three feet long. But what it lacks in size, it makes up for an attitude. Adults range in size from 0.3 to 0.9 meters, that is one to three feet long. This coloration includes several shades of brown, gray, or orange with darker dorsal eruptions and sideways spots. Saw-scaled vipers move by side-winding locomotion. The saw-scaled viper is bad-tempered and has destroyed venom. Investigators say these nocturnal hunters are responsible for more deaths than many other snakes. This is likely because they have such a wide range. Living throughout the Middle East and Southern Asia, they are widely occupied. Number five, Inland Taipan. Specialists call the Inland Taipan the most venomous snake on the planet. Why is it so? That may be true, but unfortunately, it is not a major killer of humans. Like most of the snakes, this one is shy and avoids conflict if at all possible. It also lives in a remote area of Australia where people don't often encounter it. Seems like it's a poor animal 
You can resist a bite from an inland Taipan, and most people do. Nowadays, there are no reported casualties caused by an inland Taipan bite. The anti-venom used for inland Taipan bites is specifically made for Taipans and is exceptionally effective. Gaboon Viper Also called the Gaboon Viper, this snake has the longest fangs of any snake. Fortunately, they don't often sink those fangs into humans. They prefer to hiss a warning and escape to avoid wasting precious venom. If one does bite you, the amount of trouble you're in depends on how much venom the snake injected. A lot of venom means you could be dead within minutes, but just a little, you'll have a great story to tell. The Gaboon Viper's coloration is a variety of light and dark brown, pink, and purple organized in diamonds and streaks along its back. Light and dark lines illuminate around its small eyes. It has a short tail, and its broad head mimics a fallen leaf, right down to the prominent vein. This remarkable pattern is an excellent disguise in the snake's native habitat, helping it blend into the leaf debris on the forest floor. Number 7. Eastern Diamond Back Eastern Diamond Back Rattler If you first thought when hearing the words deadly snake is not the king cobra, it is likely to be the rattlesnake. The Eastern Diamond Back Rattler can reach up to 7 feet long. That is small compared to a cobra but it's the biggest snake in the United States and one of the largest snakes on our planet. Eastern diamond back toxin is a bit powerful and these snakes have a lot of it. But luckily for us, they're good at hiding from human beings. Seems like they're afraid of us. If they are disturbed a bit, they give plenty of warning, kind of loud hisses and a snake and a shake of those namesake rattles. Mojave Rattlesnake. The Mojave Rattlesnake is a highly venomous pit viper created in the deserts of the southwestern United States and central Mexico with two subspecies perceived by scientists. And in the United States, the Mojave rattlesnake is found in most of Arizona, Southern California, Nevada, southwestern Utah, southern New Mexico, and some parts of Texas. Its range broadens south to Puebla near the southern edge of the Mexican Plateau in the central region of Mexico. As the species' common name indicates, this snake lives in the Mojave Desert, but that is only a small part of its range. They live mainly in the high desert and lower mountain slopes from 500 to 5,000 feet, that is 150 meters to 1,500 meters in elevation, but the variety seems to prefer the desert flats over rocky, hilly, or canyon-type habitats. The Mojave rattlesnake is tinier than its cousin, the diamondback but it has a much more powerful bitterness, which is 10 times stronger than the other North American rattlesnakes and is in a bad mood to go with it. Its bite is not as painful as other rattlesnakes, but you still don't want to get a portion of this strong neurotoxin. Cottonmouth Moccasin Like that of the black mamba, the color of the middle of the cottonmouth moccasin's mouth motivates its name, not its scales. This reptile grows to about four feet and is a good swimmer that spends a lot of time in the water. When compelled, they bring an outstanding display. They coil up, open their fanged mouths broad, and hiss aggressively. They don't always bite humans, but when they do bite, it can kill you, thanks to a strong hemotoxin in their venom. Olive Sea Snake The Olive Sea Snake is another water-loving serpent. It loves the water, or it spends its time mostly on water and the snake's skin does inspire the name. However, these reptiles are both friendly as they often approach divers and highly venomous. It's a dangerous combination. They are more curious than contentious and rarely bite humans. But when they do, they can have deadly bites. How do we tell if a snake is dangerous or not? Can you recognize a snake accurately by its color? Do let us know your views in the comments section below. Hope you guys liked our video. Please make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on such content. See you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.